In this video, we will look at the time card approval process and specifically the time card approvals worksheet. Let's navigate to the time card approvals worksheet. The time card approvals worksheet has three sections. We can see the filter options here. These options are used to filter the time cards that are displayed in the following section, time cards. The time cards section here is used to determine which time card lines are displayed further below. We can see as I select a, a, another time card, the time card lines will update. And finally, the time card lines will display all of the time card lines of the time card selected right above. I do wish to point out the buttons at the top. Now the, the prepare button normally doesn't need to be clicked in, in most cases. Um, and that is because the preparation of the time cut time card is done automatically when the card is closed or reapproved. The approve button here is what users will use. And upon clicking it, there will be a verification against the shop floor time card validation rules. And should everything be okay, the time card will approve. The next three buttons, unapprove, reopen, and close, are self-explanatory. The revalidate button will verify once again the time card against the shop floor time card validation rules, uh, normally used after making some modifications. And finally, we've got the filter button, which is essentially an extension of the filters option that we can see at the top. The filter options here will allow us to further determine which time cards we wish to see. For example, I could decide to only see the time cards for a specific date. So I could select a date here. And as soon as I leave the field, we see the time cards filter apply. The next options here all determine a little bit of the behavior of the time card approvals worksheet. The approval next essentially will approve the time card and if it can be approved, the next selected or the next time card will be selected automatically. The only show managed employees will potentially show employees that I do not manage. So if I have it turned on, I will only see time cards for the employees that I as supervisor manage. And if it is off, I could see other, other, other time cards that need to be approved. And finally, we've got the show open time cards option and the show approved time cards option. Any warning or error on the any time card is displayed with a red indication. Therefore, we could have an error on the time card header. And obviously we can also have errors on the time card lines. On the right hand side, we can see there are two fact boxes. We can see the card validation and this will be the all the time card uh, errors and warnings all summed up together. Whereas the second fact box for line validation will show me the errors or warning pertaining to the selected time card line. Let's now try and approve time card 132. I will select time card 132 and I will click on approve. We now see the the two errors or one error and one warning here uh, pertaining to this time card. Um, so this is it is popping up here because of the error. Um, now it is possible to navigate to the shop floor time card validation rules and modify those rules directly. It is also possible to navigate there from this pop up by clicking the actions button followed by the configure rules. These are the current shop floor time card validation rules that I have. In our context, I do not wish to see any errors pertaining to setup time. I'll now find that error and I will disable it. Likewise, for the runtime exceeding the expected time, I will turn this off. Now let's close this. Let's close this pop up. Now I've just modified the shop floor validation rules. Let's revalidate this one time card. So we now see that this one time card 132 
does not have any errors or warnings, it can now be approved. We can see the time card has disappeared and that is because of our filter. I could decide to show the approved time cards and I would see that it is now approved. Let's now look at time card 143. Time card 143 has a few errors. Looking at line 30,000 here, I will scroll to the right and we will see that there is a value in red. That is because there is missing runtime here in this context. This could be because of an error or something that happened. So now after speaking with the employee, I wish to correct this. I will simply add in my time of 0.52 hours, tab off the field and I will now revalidate the time card. And there we are. We can see that the, there is one warning here on the total hours, but my time card line can, is no longer in red and I can now approve the time card. There we are, because there were no more time cards to approve, my time card sheet has automatically closed. So I will now quickly go back to my time card approvals worksheet. And I wish to turn off the only show managed employees. Now we can see there are two other time cards here. These are for workers that I do not manage, but I do wish to approve the time cards. Let's do that. And there we are. This concludes the video on time card approvals. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.